In this video, we present iWood, an interactive makeable plywood that can withstand common woodworking operations such as sawing and screwing, while also detecting user input and activities based on unique vibration patterns. Plywood is a widely available and common material in home improvement and crafting stores. It can be used to make furniture, artifacts, and even infrastructure for buildings. In this project, we explore how to make plywood both interactive and makeable to create furniture and artifacts. The first version of iWood was based on the common structure of triboelectric nanogenerators. It was composed of a layer of triboelectric material sandwiched between two layers of electrodes, each attached to a plywood substrate. When a vibration occurs, the contact and separation of the electrode and negative triboelectric layer will generate electricity between electrodes and cause a voltage signal that is highly correlated to the vibration pattern. However, the challenge here is that this type of structure is not compatible with woodworking operations, especially for screwing, which will cause multiple short circuits between the electrodes. To address this problem, we present iWood version 2, which has the top and bottom electrodes staggered with each other to cover a separate part of the sensing area, thus significantly reducing short circuiting issues. To fabricate the sensor, we first airbrushed nickel spray paint on the plywood substrates with diamond pattern acrylic stencils. Then we used thin copper tape to build the row and column connections. We attached a PTFE film firmly to an electrode layer and substrate and bonded them to the other layer and substrate using plastic glue. Our prototype is a plywood sheet that is 610 millimeters by 610 millimeters. As iWood can survive different woodworking operations created by tools designed for regular plywood, such as sawing, screwing, drilling, it can be easily used to make things like a nightstand or a table. It can also withstand laser cutting, so a cutting board can be made quickly made by a custom 2D laser cutting file. Items created using iWood inherit the material's sensing capability and can detect a variety of user input and activities. For example, iWood can recognize four gesture inputs, such as tapping, swiping. iWood can also detect working activities on the table, such as writing, erasing, stapling, pen sharpening. By analyzing the duration and frequency of these events, a smart table can infer higher level working activities to track work progress of a user. For instance, content creation can be inferred from a long period of writing. Editing can be inferred from the occurrence of erasing mixed with shorter periods of writing. What's more, iWood can recognize common activities on the nightstand, such as pumping and dispensing tape. In addition to the top panel of the nightstand created using iWood, the drawer of the nightstand is also made of iWood, which can detect the user's habit of getting an item or putting an item back in storage. This would also be helpful to log routine activities for personal reflection or healthcare. iWood can even sense different kitchen activities on a cutting board, such as cutting, slicing, stirring, rolling, grating, and tenderizing. It can also be useful for kitchen applications. For example, with a cutting board, a progress indicator can be shown on a user's laptop to provide a better awareness of the time left for scrambled eggs to be stirred. Further, the interactive recipe apps could work better with a smart cutting board. For example, the system can pause a cooking video tutorial if it detects that the user has not completed the process of meat tenderizing. Once this process is completed, the system resumes the video. For more information on iWood, please see our paper.